So I chose a blank space and this is my script about car hygiene. From the props, that's what I call it, or propositions, we can find first the car. There's a lot of graphics to choose from and obviously very organized. Good thing is there's a search bar to make our work faster. So we pick the yellow car. Now the characters, again, it's so organized and it's good that they are sorted into professions. You get casual people, working in the government, hospitals, travel, and so on. Let's see if we get a driver here since that's what we need. Of course, when you're new or it's a new account, you will get assistance to guide you step by step. If I want to change the expression of my character, there's an icon on the upper right corner for that. Let's just make him smile. And for the actions, I want to show you something here. But first, let's choose the walking action for the character. Anyway, I'm used to having the flip feature from any application that I'm using. But in Beyond, I kind of got lost how to flip my character because they don't have it when you right click on it. There is, however, the motion path where you can move your character to another side. And you can even adjust how long you want him to walk. For the background, I'm gonna go with an airport style. And it's great that you can even customize its filter. I mean, I'm not gonna use yellow since my car is already yellow. I like how you can add template text and you can choose from a lot of fonts. What I just noticed so far in Vion is that there's a bit of a late response in the server in a way that when you click the element, you cannot like drag and move it immediately. So somehow, that's annoying. By the way, for the animation, you can adjust the timings through the effect icon. It's pretty easy and I just love how you can easily animate each like a PowerPoint presentation. Anyway, let's skip to the audio part. I don't want to drag this video too much. Adding audio is by far very easy. You can even cut from the end part and add another. This is our timeline. I decided to go for a blank workspace as well, but once you open it, the templates will be opened, as you can see beside the preview. All of your tools are on the left side of your workspace, and on your right are the scenes and where the tools to customize will appear when you click on one element. So checking on our background, there is not much, especially something that is close to an airport, the others will be accessible when you upgrade to a higher plan. So I'm just gonna go with the building scene. Even the car options are not that much. It's not giving me what I really want. Now what I like about Animaker is that you can change the colors of your characters. Like right now, I want him to wear black a bit closer to a chauffeur because unfortunately, they don't have that profession in their category, so somehow he kind of looks like a teacher. I have no problem with the text. We also get a lot of font options and we can even upload our own font. I think this is something great about this platform. At first, Animaker looks a bit more complicated because there's a lot of elements you see on your screen, but what makes it easy to navigate is that to be able to customize, you just have to click one element and you can add actions, effects, flip them over, so it kind of made it easier for me to work faster. Similar to Beyond, you can also add emotions for the character. Though you do that by clicking the add action icon to allow your elements to move. Now the problem that Animaker is giving me is the timeline where we have to adjust the elements synced to the audio. It's frustrating to have to click on one element and drag its duration from the timeline and it's looking so crowded. I'm also having a bit of a problem adding animations to each element. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue working on this platform now or I would just transfer it to my offline application and sync my scenes there because it's taking me a lot of time. Very briefly, I wanted to see how much each application will cost you. For Beyond, you will only get a 14-day trial and after that you have to upgrade to their basic or essential plan 
which costs $49 a month, but for annual plan, it's $299. But here's the thing. The watermark remains in your exported video in the essential plan unless you upgrade to premium, which costs $89 a month and $649 if paid annually. For Animaker, you can use the platform for free, but take note that you can only export for up to 5 times. And with watermark, although the plans are a bit lower, $19 for the basic or starter plan and $39 for higher or professional plan. I will add links below for the full details of the pricing so you can carefully check and study both sides. Keeping your car clean increases your income by 90%. Here's why. Customers' ratings and reviews tell a lot to your Book a Cab service provider. If you keep getting bad ratings and poor performance in your record, chances are you may get suspended, or worse, terminated. And no one wants that. But if customers give you good feedback consistently, the system will allow you more bookings, and you may even earn incentives or rewards. So here are some quick tips in giving your customers the most out of their trips. Tip number one. Before accepting any rides, check for mess or stains from the back to the front seat of your car. Tip number two. Keep a bag of tissue or wet wipes near to the passenger seat. In case your customers are carrying food with them and accidentally spilled onto your car, they will be able to wipe it off. Tip number three. Keep an air freshener inside your car and give your customers a fresh and relaxing cab experience. Remember, the more you clean, the more you earn.